Yo, what's going on, everyone? So, doing my thing um, at the shop. We got a few things that we got to bring in for the S10, as you can see. So, inside deal. We're gonna get the, pull the cord out and try to get that bed off of there, and go from there. So, we're gonna do a couple things on this truck. Got to clean this up, and then we can get the rest of it done. So let's go ahead and get the battery hooked up and the cord pulled out. Uh, I really love this car, guys. Uh. She's so fun. She's slow right now, but she's fun. All right, so the cord is out there. Um, <clears throat> so we we're messing with the S10 in the last, or the S10's cage in the last video. I did go ahead and get the rest of the stuff here to the shop. We got the bed for the truck here, um, the calipers for the 8.8, and we got over here <clears throat> the front bumper and cross member. Oh, and the steering wheel over here for the truck. So this was all stuff that was left over there that we brought back to the shop. Um, but I was messing with this cage, obviously, and one of my buddies was watching my video, and he hit me up. He was like, yo, you're doing your cage wrong, bro. I said, what do you mean I'm doing my cage wrong? He was like, you have a frame vehicle. On a frame vehicle, you need the cage to be tied into the chassis, like the actual frame of the truck, you know, the car. Because it's not like a unibody car or stuff like that, like 240 would be or a Honda or whatever, you know. So the cage needs to drop down and have a kickout box that the cage welds to to the frame like this so pretty much right here where the cage will come through it needs to be welded to the frame like there's a box that you build off right here and then the cage will come down to that mine's not like that i mean I, we got the hole here for where we dropped the cage to weld the top but obviously down here it's nothing so what i was thinking of planning on doing is seeing if i can weld from the bottom of this plate the cage the tube coming from here down to the kickout box, you know what I mean? So I don't know if I'll get, I don't know if I can do that, if that will pass inspection or tech or whatever. So I think for now, I'm gonna stop on the cage and try and talk to someone that knows a lot more about it to see if I do something like that, if it will work, since it's still tying in the frame to the chassis or the cab of the truck and the cage all together. So if you guys know anything about that, let me know please down in the comments because I don't know, I've never built a cage in a car before this is the first one and i mean i've had a cage in other cars but nothing with a frame like this you know if that if i can't do what i want to do then pretty much i gotta cut the cage out of this truck and buy another cage and redo all of the cage and everything but which sucks but if that's the case we can cut this out enough where we could probably be able to use some of it for the cord so we can cage the accord as well so I'll have two, both vehicles caged and everything, you know, so when the cord is ready to go, we know the cage is good. But that's a big, big setback if that's the case. So, or we can just send it and see what happens. There's that option too. So I'm gonna try and get a hold of a couple people. If anyone out there does know, please let me know in the comments because I don't at all. And it's really help, hold, gonna hold me back, you know, on this truck, so. But parts did come in for this truck. I got all the brakes for it, like the rotors and stuff, the calipers for it. Um, waiting on control arms to come in. Those have already been ordered. So once those come in, we can get popping on the front end. Um, when I get some more money up, we're gonna order the, the manual rack for it because I don't want to go gearbox in this truck. I want to do the manual rack in it. Keep going, keep going from there. Um, not gonna be doing the four link anymore in this truck. So I am going to go cow track in it. So if anyone needs a Fort Link, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram or down below in the comments. I saw that thing cheap, you know, if you're local. It's going to be like 150 bucks or something, 160 bucks. Um, <clears throat> I think it was like 200 or something dollars is brand new. So that money I can use to go towards getting the cow track for this thing because I want to save the lease springs and stuff. Um, there's a kit that I found that I want that comes with the lease springs. Everything is almost a thousand bucks. A lot of money so if you guys want to see this truck done and the accord done and all that just smash that like button if you're not yet sub to this video please sub to the channel and help me tremendously because i know you all want to see this truck and that accord out the track 
ripping. So Dustin just stopped by, I talked to him for a little bit. So we got some plans and stuff. He's gonna be helping me do some stuff on this, a lot of powder coating stuff. Um, we're probably gonna powder coat this cage if everything is in the clear and good to go. So a lot to do. Um, um, I forgot to ask him if I can borrow his seat because he has the, um, the Kirky seat I wanna be running in this truck. So I could have found my mounted position and I could have marked on here where it's gonna be. So I could have built that back piece as well. So maybe tomorrow some. I'll see if he'll let me do that. He was getting, he was leaving. So yeah, guys, I'm sorry that I haven't put out a video lately. My son's been sick, still currently sick. Uh, so I've been just after we're going home and stuff, dealing with all that. But I want to get this truck done as fast as possible. And, you know, I just want to get this car, or the S10 and the Accord back there chilling at the track, running good, all that stuff. So still waiting on these pistons. I mean, there were, I think they said it takes two, three months or something to get them made. So, and I ordered them when we did the video of getting this block cleaned up and all that. So, yeah, hopefully they'll be here soon. They're expensive too. But those pistons would be good for like seven, 800 horsepower. So my rods are good for about 600. So even if we make 550, 600, I'm all right with that. It'll be a fun car sale. I do want to get it running better with the stock engine first so we can turn it up. I'm um, just tired of taking it to the dyno and having issues. So maybe sometime in the next week or so, I can see if I can have like my buddy um, Asian come out and mess with the tune on it and see if we can just do like a little straight tune on it to get it running better. If all that works and the car runs good, then we'll deal with the dyno stuff later. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, guys. I know it's just a talking video. I'm sorry, but that's what it's gotta be sometimes so I can get information out to you guys. And if you guys have input and information, you can give back, that'd be great. But with that being said, guys, if you're not yet subbed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you a thing and it helps us tremendously. I know a lot of people are watching these videos that aren't subbed, a lot, like thousands of people are watching these videos that are not subbed. So just a percentage of you guys will just hit that sub button. It will help this channel grow so much faster and help income come in a lot faster and better so we can get these vehicles done. So, but yeah, I'm ended there, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit that notification button so y'all get notified when we post, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.